I just wanted to make a quick video about um, something in particular on the 20 valve for AAG engines. Um, these engines have an idle air control, um, which is this unit right here, and this is a computer controlled air bypass. So as you can see here, there's a big black tube that comes out and it goes into the um, uh, intake manifold here, and this is the air bypass, and this is to increase your um, your uh, revs uh, when, when your engine's cold um, so that you warm up the engine faster and then as the engine gets warmer this thing should start to close and you don't need that extra air bypassing the throttle to artificially increase your um, RPMs. Um, however mine was malfunctioning so it actually would never go down um, so I'd always have a really high idle, like at 1800, 2000 RPM, which is way too high when the engine's warm. Um, so to solve this without actually having to take apart this um, air bypass valve, um, I mean, you can take it apart, you can fix it, you can replace it, they're probably quite expensive. Um, but the easier way is what I did was just to remove this tube and I taped a washer and then put the tube back on. So this washer basically restricts the airflow um, by restricting the diameter of that tube. So you can see this is quite large, this tube diameter, and I'm restricting it by putting this washer right there. The tape is just to hold it in place while I install the, uh, while I install the rubber hose. Um, so what happens when you do this is that when your engine's cold, um, the air bypass is restricted so your engine idles very low and you need to let the engine warm up naturally, it'll eventually warm up and your um, idle RPM will increase and then your warm idle will be normal, you know, at a thousand RPM or whatever. Um, so you have to sort of sacrifice that few minutes on cold startup um, for better drivability throughout the rest of the day um, by doing this little modification. Um, obviously the better alternative is to replace this or repair this um, IAC or, yeah, intake air control um, valve or air bypass valve. Um, but this is just a really quick fix that I figured worked um, and it costs nothing. It's just the cost of a washer. So keep that in mind if you have this problem.